Hi, this is a video tour of my Peugeot 508. Um, this is the SW, which means like the estate version, and it's the RXH Hybrid 4. Quite a rare model, actually. You don't see many of these for sale, they don't come up very often. They're really, really nice to drive, really comfortable, and uh, the hybrid system allows you to drive on full electric for up to two miles before the engine starts and starts charging it again and um, obviously it uses the hybrid system as you're driving along normally as well so um, this is 2013 it's got 116,400 miles on it you may notice a couple of differences if you've been looking at these the normal ones I've replaced the badges with the modern Peugeot badges a lot nicer, I can't stand the old Peugeot badge, it's so old manish. I've also had the front lights and lower lights um, wrapped, or tinted sorry. I think it looks a lot more stylish and modern with them like that. Plus it stops stone chips and um, sort of winter salt damage as well. Had the rear ones done as well, it's completely illegal. As you can see, they're not too dark at all. Um, just very, very nice. Comes with the these the RXH special wheels that come with it. You don't see these on other models. Tow bar on it. Um, tow bar with seven pin electrics. This is a removable one, as you can see. And um, tow capacity is only 300 kilograms. Yep, I know that's not much at all, but it was enough to tow my trailer and um, a sm small motorbike so let's check out the tyres I put a set of Michelin uh, cross climate two tyres the latest cross climate all season tyres they've got about 80% tread left on each one let's go around and show you those these are absolutely awesome tyres they always win the all season tyre tests they've got a three three peak mountain snowflake rating on them which means that um, they are like heavy snow rated as you can see there <coughs> the wheels do need a bit of a refurbish they're not they're not really bad but they are scuffed on the edges from a previous owner and um, I've been quoted like 40 to 50 pounds per wheel to get these done there you go once you stand back, they're really not too bad at all. You can see the paint works. Oh, there's the last one as well, sorry. That's probably the worst one. See the front end, there's not really any stone chips on it or anything. Unfortunately, there are a couple of car park dents on it. You can't really help those. Um, it's there. There's one there. Actually, it's light. It's helping it show. There's a couple more lighter ones. Uh, I'm always honest, so there is the worst. That is not done onto metal, it's plastic, it's plastic trim that's painted. There's one there. There's no heavy scratches at all on the paintwork uh, around the sides or the front. Uh, the worst bit's on the boot where someone's obviously loaded things in are here. Personally, I think you could just get a boot protector and that would cover those. There's a little bit there, but again, when you stand back, it kind of all disappears anyway, so uh, you can't really see it. Um, and the last one is there. Again, that is all on plastic, painted plastic, so it's not down to metal or anything like that. Overall, though, a very, very good-looking car. So on the interior, we'll start off with the boot area. You can see it's in really nice condition. That's packed from the sun <laughs> um so yeah, you can see it's in really really good condition there's a little uh, handy storage pocket down here you can release these seats from this side and this side 60 folding 60 40 folding seats and i've got little handy bag carriers as well really cool these actually slide along all you do is press those down and then they slide and i've actually got all four of those which is quite unusual people tend to lose them or whatever this again super handy little pack um, 
hidden storage area and that's where the little tied on points are kept as well. I do actually have a full boot cover for this which will come along with the car. As you can see the plastics are in good condition and uh, this just it's got a 12 volt, volt charging point and this just pulls back and to release it it's just a simple very cool little feature. So there's no marks on the seats um, at all. They're in really, really nice condition. These are half leather, half cloth seats and they are really comfortable. I've owned Lexus and Volvos and these are easily as comfortable as those seats. You even get a little thigh extender there if you've got longer legs. The steering wheel does come in and out and up and down. Um, it's both sides, passenger, front passenger and driver have the lumbar up and down and in and out. I actually suffer from sciatica and back pain and I'd never get any back pain at all in these. In fact we did a 700 mile trip to Devon, round trip to Devon and neither me or my passengers got any back pain whatsoever. The traffic was a nightmare, it was 10 hours, uh, 11 hours there and 10 hours back in the car. Um, so. Um, it just shows how comfortable it is. Every single door card is in really nice condition. There's no big scratches or marks on them. There's a tiny wear patch there. and the, It's just a mat after all. It's underneath the carpets are in exceptional condition as you can see. The mats are in good condition apart from that little hole there. Um, so let's go and show you the back seats as well. Okay, but again, back seats, no marks or wear. There's not been any sort of kiddie seats in it by the look of it, where they sometimes can sort of mark the areas on the seats where they've been um, where they've been sat for a long time. It does have a armrest with a little handy cup holder section. It does have a ski push through section, which is great if you do actually use this, which we easily could. It's got four wheel drive. You could um, use that for ski go skiing. Uh, it's got vents in the back as well as 12 volt um, connector. Really handy on that trip this just made huge difference to making us feel that bit more comfortable. Again you can see the the mats and the carpets are in exceptional condition they almost look like new. This is just such a you can see the headlining as well there's like one small mark on it above there which this is actually the first time I've noticed that, strangely enough. Um, again, the door card, just really, really good condition. No sort of kick marks, scuff marks or anything on there. Next door card, again, nothing, nothing on towards on there. Buttons are all in perfect condition on all doors. Again, plastic's in really nice condition. As you can see, carpet, um, carpet and mat is absolutely great. There's only a couple of little marks on the back of the seats here and there. Nothing very, very noticeable. Again, no marks on this side. And finally, the passenger side. Again, no, no marks or anything on the door card. One here. As you can see, this the carpet, it's the original carpet, is in really good condition. Sorry, the mat. I keep getting mixed up. This is the mat. It's in really, really nice condition. As is the carpet underneath it. Again, this one comes out as well. And you've obviously got the lumbar support, same as the driver's side. No marks. No wear on the bolsters. Exceptional condition, I would say. Armrest is the same. This is a very, very clean car. As you can see from the steering wheel as well, just top condition, no sign of wear, anything like that. All the buttons are in exceptionally condition. I do keep my cars really clean when uh, I have them. I'm very fussy about that. Um, I always have been. 
So this is the centre console. You can see there's no deep scratches on the piano black trim. Um, it's got, they have three stage heated seats which work perfectly. Oh, I've missed a bit of dirt there but that is very clean, I'll clean that out later. It does have um, a USB slot here and also a 12 volt slot there as well. This is broken but it still works absolutely perfectly. It does slide back and forth which is a really handy feature, I absolutely love that. But you can see there's nowhere on the gear knob or on any of the buttons, is not dirty or anything like that. Every, every single button and control works perfectly. And again another 12 volt socket with a little rubbish bin. I love the cup holders on these, they're really cool. And um, as you can see from the dash there's no marks or anything like that on it. It has got the heads up display on this model. Let's go ahead and just Okay, that's on now, just one turn of the key. You can see the mileage, 116,409 miles. You do have a centre digital display, which is I absolutely love. Um, it's one of these buttons, I think it's that one. There we go. So you can see over uh, 706 miles, I average 53 miles to the gallon. Um, I'll get 60 to 65, that was because there was four adults uh, and a boot full. <laughs> but uh, you can get about seven, 800 miles from a tank. You can see I've still got half a tank in there. The engine's completely cold, by the way, when I do a start-up on that. Where you can see um, all the different displays that are on here. There's a little cubby hole that I think many people forget about down here. Let's have a look. And this is for your heads up display which is really very clever so i don't know if i can capture that oh yeah you can just see the miles per hour and it shows you sort of the um it does show you the sat nav di directions and your cruise control speed setting and stuff and this this down here is turn eco off if you're reading a book for summertime when it's really hot if you turn eco mode off your air conditioning gets colder. Um, it's got your front and rear park sensors you can turn off. You can turn off the, I think that's, yeah, yeah, it's the ESP button, it's the blade program. And obviously your lights up and down. As you can see, the fans have not got loads of, um, the vents have not got loads of dust in, stuff like that. The uh, controls are absolutely perfect on this. You can, again, this is for controlling this section here. And uh, this is for controlling the big screen. There we go. So, it's got LED lights inside, and one of the coolest features in, that I absolutely love on this is the massive panoramic sunroof. I can't quite show it properly from this angle, but on, if you look on the photograph, I mean, you get that goes right to the back of the passengers' heads, so it's just beautiful as well. You can adjust it to various points. If you look on here, so you can stop it at different points rather than opening and closing it all the way. I just love the interior of this car. It's all like uh, soft rubbers. It's not hard plastics anywhere. All the buttons are really nice and nicely laid out. This is your controller section for... Um, for your different things so okay so you can you can um see different and reset that as well if you need to if you want to very quick video as well of the engine running no untoward noises at all just runs absolutely perfectly and cleanly no smoke from the exhaust
Okay, so I'll just do a quick um, test drive for you guys. And sorry if the camera mount vibrates a lot. It's just a cheap camera mount I've got. If it rattles as well, I apologise for that. I'm going to film it as best as I can. Okay, so we're obviously in um, full EV mode now. This will do up to about 40 miles an hour in uh, full electric. And it allows you, in ZEV mode, it just allows you to put your foot down a little bit harder without the engine kicking in. If you've got it in auto mode, um, the engine will kick in. The boot cover almost always rattles on every single one of these cars. I've done some research into that and it's just so annoying. I can't help that. Um, there's probably a way to stop it rattling a little bit, but on a motorway and stuff it doesn't really do anything. So it's gone over into auto mode because the battery is a little bit low. Below four bars of battery it will go back into auto. The hybrid system will still work. But... So this has actually got an electric automatic gearbox. The gear changes you take a little bit of getting used to, they're less quick than a normal gearbox. But um, it's a very smooth car. We're going straight into a 60 limit here, so I'm actually going to put sport mode on. That allows the uh, the electric motor and the engine to do what they need to do. Give you 200 horsepower. On. Let's go for it. Again, sorry for the rattling camera, camera mode, guys. Really smoothly and with 
ridiculous. Um, it does tell only up to 300 kilograms, and that may be low, yes, that's correct, it is very low, but all I need it for is to tow a small 60 kilogram motorcycle trailer with smallish bikes on, and that's all I use it for. Um, it's not had a tow bar on before, nobody gets tow bars put on these for the very reason I just mentioned, it's 300 kilogram weight limit. <laughs> so it doesn't make any sense like I paid £650 for a detachable tow bar and um, that I ran around absolutely loads of places and there was only one place that did it, a really good place in uh, Scunthorpe, John Cooper's they did it, really high quality tow bar and what basically the reason I'm selling the car is because if I buy a double trailer and I need to fit two big bikes on there it's got us up the way limit. As you can hear, there's no there's no uh, wheel bearing noise. There was what I thought was re wheel bearing noise it was actually not wheel bearing noise. I took it to the garage and very um, very fussy about my cars, and I asked them to check all four wheels. I trust this garage um, very much. They are excellent garage, great reputation. It's the tyres. <laughs> I've got the Michelin Cross Climate all season tyres fitted and it's there's more tyre noise than obviously summer tyres on them. So that is it. <laughs> that's the, that's what I thought was a wheel bearing noise, but it's not. This is quite a steep hill actually. Juddering from the brakes whatsoever. The brakes are really nice on this car. Um, and the service I had done at the garage was about um, just before we went on holiday. I think it's about uh, 800 miles ago, something like that. It's literally the day before we went away on holiday, and I had the oil filters done, which is oil filter, air filter, fuel filter, cabin filter, oil was changed and um, they stripped all the brakes and checked them. I had a full cool and flush and, repl and uh, refill and um, so it said nothing needs to do into the car, the brakes are all fine otherwise the garage had said something to me. Need a MLT in January. 2023 so you've got a few months there it's going to pass without any marks whatsoever because there's nothing wrong with the car when i take it for service they check everything over um so all right that's um we can do a bit of a standing start actually there's no one behind me let's put it in sport mode okay so zero in sport let's go that's 30 very quick sensible driver normally so um, that's unusual for me to do that but it's good fun anyway besides that it's a diesel it's good to give a diesel a bit of a hammering occasionally isn't it make sure the system doesn't get clogged up it's a only diesel car i don't do all the hometown mileage so um as i say my mileage is mixed i do a lot of 60 miles an hour limits like these and um, Talking about my heart a bit to be selling this one. And it really is. Um, quite gutted about that. But I'm gonna have to find a car that tells a bit more. But what a fantastic drive. I mean this the these were 
built and made to compete with German cars. Uh, over the years, uh, there's been some fantastic luxury French cars that have been, you know, really nicely handled and, uh, you know, waft along the performance. And I think that's what French cars, luxury cars, do really well. Um, they allow you to sort of cover good distances in really good comfort. So this one they made, you know, they they um, really tried hard and it really worked well in trying to compete with the Germans, like the BMWs. I'd say uh, this easily all drive all in comfort in comfort wise and the materials used. 2013 BMW, this will drive like easily. And comfort wise, it's as comfortable as Lexus's and Volvo's I've owned in the past. accelerates so nicely it's got all, you know you if you want to get up to speed or overtake it just sort of is able to just waft there as it were in mean, a very sort of luxurious way you can hear how quiet it is if you open the uh, panoramic roof there is a bit more wind noise it does it even says that in the handbook so on uh, higher speeds just Actually, what on a motor on the motorway though, we did leave it open for the majority of the time, we didn't even notice it, but it is definitely quieter with the blind show on the panoramic, panoramic roof. So obviously sections like this with it being a hybrid, there is a really quite a strong region, um, it's a powerful regeneration. Sends the power back into the battery, and if you take your foot off the accelerator, it will haul to a stop brake. Uh, like you've got your foot lightly on the brake, but that is always putting power back into the battery. The battery is actually full already, it was full a while ago. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but actually, if I click to this one here, you can see the screen there. But the main screen is showing me that the battery was full a long time ago. Which means, obviously, as soon as I get into the little town, into Bar into Barrow, I can switch over to um, full EV mode again. In fact, that's what it's driving in now, because we're only 40 miles an hour. It's actually clicked over to the electric mode. This is just a fantastic car. I can't phrase it highly enough. I really, really enjoy driving it. And again, it's just as comfortable as you could ever want, both passengers and drivers. Okay, it's allowed me, you have to go to about 28 miles an hour to put it into pure electric mode, but as I say, that, um, that does allow you to drive up to about 40 miles an hour on pure pure electric. So I'm accelerating now in full electric mode. As you can see I've done about I'm doing about 30 it's still in now. I think that's a good enough run now. And um, as you can see, nothing at all untoward, untoward uh, on the driving side of things. Let's put the electric on. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and it helps you to make your mind up about uh, buying this car. Thank you.